Hey folks, um, I dug out a little digital MP3 player that I found sitting in my cupboard. It's been sitting there for a while, charged it up. I'm just gonna show it to you now. The This particular player, um, I've seen more modern incarnations of, on it that look like they have a clip on the back and there's a full metal case. This, I have not seen something like this anywhere. This is even cheaper maybe to produce. You can see it only has one side metal and it's mostly plastic. So let's turn it on. It's very simple. It has a menu in the beginning with music and set mode. Set mode, if you press that, lets you change the contrast, the language and the light setting, how long the backlight is on. If you want to see, you can just do that return. Um, if you go to music, it's reading stuff off of this SD card. Now it does not come with an SD card, so you have to pick that up. It's a little micro USB, uh, sorry, micro uh, SD card, and that's four gigs. You can put, I believe, up to 32 gigs in these things. So they can hold a lot of stuff. Um, changing the track is done this way. Now I don't see any way to go into folders. I've tried various buttons. It doesn't let you do anything. You can hit play, pause. You can see it's counting there in the corner a battery up there and uh, normal that's for the sound settings so you can go into menu here and go over to EQ and you can choose normal uh, what else do they have pop rock jazz classic and normal okay and then as far as volume goes if you press down volume you'll see that is flashing and you can increase the volume that way or that way. So it's an extremely rudimentary device. Uh, let's open this thing up and see what's inside. As I mentioned, it's about $1.50 on AliExpress and uh, the newer ones are better even than this thing. They have a nice case and a clip. So to open it up, you basically have to pry underneath the edge, at least with this model, it doesn't have any screws even. So you just get under one side like this and under one side here. I'm trying to reach underneath here if I can. There. That's not so easy. Come on, there we go. Okay, and then the top will usually lift off. Okay, there, that's the top. And there's the little controller. And here we have the device switch, an LCD panel and our buttons. Okay, you can see there it turns on. Okay. Um, I can't tell the date code on this thing, part number that's all we have lcd1 lcd2 i wonder why if there's some other options here all right to remove the board at least in this model you have to get it out this little um this headphone jack has to come out of the case otherwise it gets trapped in there so you just do that so it gets past that point and then it should be able to reach out there like that or not. Let's try again. Uh, oh, sorry. I have my SD, my card in there. That won't work. I forgot about that. There we go. You can't have the card in there. Okay, so there it comes out. And let's look at the back side of this. So that's the battery that comes with it. Now, a lot of times these batteries stop holding a charge and, um, you know, they're not worth replacing you're better off just buying another one it's not the cost is not worth it and these ba batteries also do not have any kind of a circuitry for protection for overcharging i don't see anything on this at all so you can't just drop in another battery and expect this thing to charge properly i mean you could try it and just keep an eye on it and see what happens but i wouldn't trust leaving it alone at least nothing i would modify on my own but that's the uh, the battery there. But yeah, there's not no circuitry on the actual battery like I've seen on others. 
for protection. Um, there's the device. It's essentially, there's nothing under this. This is just a pad for the battery to stick to. You have your headphone jack. This is the charging port via the USB. Um, it's not a micro, it's like a mini USB. There's um, a couple of capacitors and resistors there and one chip that's basically doing the whole business. So if we zoom in on that chip, AB19HFJ613-83. So that's one chip is driving the display. It's uh, decoding the TF card. It's handling the MP3 or uh, I believe MP3 or WAVE, it might be able to support decoding and creating the sound through the jack here. And that's it. And that's the entirety of the whole, the, the works of this thing. Okay. So now I'm gonna put this back together. Just bear with me a second here. Battery goes back on there. Uh, I should be able to slide this in here. So again, I go, oh, let me try this. Put that in first so that the USB goes in to the hole there. It's really tiny. Okay, I think that's inside the hole. Get this thing up there. And now pry this open enough so that that slips down. Okay, so we're in. Okay, now I have to turn this guy around. Okay, and then clip it in place. So this will go in here, one side, and there's the other. Am I in? No. Did I lose that piece? I might have lost that little piece there. Yeah, these, they don't, uh, if you open it and close it too many times, you're not gonna gain, you're not gonna be able to keep it going here. Let me just see. I believe I lost that little piece of plastic. Okay, anyway, doesn't matter. It's holding together, fine. Put our card back in goes this way. Yeah, turn it on. Let's listen to it working here. Okay, so yeah, bare bones, quite loud. And uh, my only concern is see the backlight just turned off. Batteries, unfortunately, on these things go and then unless you can rig it to something else, they're not worth replacing. Um, Music mode, okay. Let's see what we got. Um, here, I'll put in some music. I don't know if you can hear this. I'm gonna, you can fast forward by holding this down, you see, it's jumping. I'm gonna turn the volume up. I don't know if you can hear this. Still in volume mode here. Yeah. There's another. Okay. Yeah, so a nice little player. Can hear it there. Cheap as dirt. And it does the job. But there you have it. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you happen to have something that looks similar to this, let me know. But like I said, the new versions all have an encasing that goes right around. Uh, but I'm pretty sure the internals are exactly the same. They have all this stuff on the same layout. Even there, the only thing that's changed is the case. So, you know, once you can build these down to a price with a one chip solution, there's no reason to change it. So, there you have it, little tiny player, which 
is uh, affordable if you want a cheap MP3 player to go around with. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.